Good morning, students. Beta, now let us conclude our discussion on distance and displacement with the help of this last example. Actually, I try to draw a globe in front of you. Consider it might be an earth or just a circle. And the saint is circling the globe. He is traveling from one country to another to spread God consciousness among the people of the entire world. So he is moving from, he started from USA and he moved to Norway and from Norway he moved towards Japan and from Japan he moved towards Australia. Okay, so if I ask you how much part of the circle this scene has covered, guess it, think about it and tell me, yes you are right, it is 3 fourth. okay, let's see how it is 3 fourth. see, let me draw a circle. Okay, and if I draw a straight line here, okay, let it be straight. Think, uh, assume it as a straight line. So, this much part is 1 by 2, and this much part is 1 by 2. Means, puri ek circle me se uska aadha hissa. Do parts me se ek hissa ye hai. Do parts me se ek hissa ye hai. Similarly, agar main isko aise aur kaat do, thik hai? If I cut it, the circle in this way also. So you can see that there are four parts right now. One, two, three, four. Okay. So in charo part of say, ye one by fourth. Okay. Okay. Ye one by fourth, ye one by fourth, and ye be one by fourth. Okay. If I say the person has covered from here till this, from here till here. So how much part is covered? 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth that is 3 by 4 okay so you are clear with this one concept that the scene has traveled has covered 3 by 4 part of the circle okay now moving on the question let's read the question see a scene is circling the globe I have written in front of you to spread God consciousness he traveled from USA to Norway okay yes USA to Norway to Japan then to Australia. Norway to Japan, then to Australia. Please consider it that he is moving on the circumference of the circle. Okay? Okay? Now, along a radius of 3 meters. So, the uh, to the radius of this circle is, that is 3 meters. Okay? Now, first part says, calculate distance traveled from U to N. I have assumed that's U, U to N, N to J, and J to A. So distance traveled, how we will calculate? See, we know that I told you he is traveling across the circumference of the circle. Okay, so what will be the distance? See, we know that the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. Okay, okay? so how we will calculate the distance? We will calculate the distance 3 by 4th of 2 pi r. 2 pi r is a circumference of the whole circle. And if you want to calculate the 3 by 4th part, we will multiply with 3 by 4. So distance is 3 by 4 into 2 pi r. So 2 into pi is 22 by 7 and radius is 3. So you can see here clearly. So the distance will be 3 by 4 into 2 pi r. That is 3 by 4 into 2 into pi. The, the value of pi is 22 by 7 into radius is 3 meter so okay so distance will be if you multiply we calculate it, the value will come out to be as 14.142 okay now let's see the next part the distance dis we have to calculate the displacement which means the shortest distance between the australia or usa this is australia and this is the usa so we know that the displacement the straight line distance and which we indicate by an arrow Okay, so the straight line distance from Australia and USA, the shortest distance between Australia and USA will be this straight line. Okay, and I have drawn in this way directly. Okay, so how to calculate this value? If you are knowing the Pythagoras theorem, you must be knowing that the square of the sum of the other two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Okay, so in this way, uh, displacement can be calculated. How? That is 
डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज टू थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री स्क्वायर अंडर रूट थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री स्क्वायर लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट पेज सी आई ड्रॉन इट वंस अगेन डिस्प्लेसमेंट शॉर्टेज डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ए एंड यू दैट इज ए दैट वॉज ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड यू इज यूएसए सो दिस इज द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस हाउ टू कैलकुलेट इट ए यू स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ओ ए स्क्वायर प्लस ओ यू स्क्वायर सो द वैल्यू विल कम आउट टू बी एस इफ यू कैलकुलेट इट थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री स्क्वायर अंडर रूट एंड नाइन प्लस नाइन एटीन ओके देन टू इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री इफ देर आर टू 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 थ्री मीन्स इफ देर इज मल्टीपल ऑफ टू इफ देर इज स्क्वायर समथिंग वी टेक आउट वन वैल्यू आउट ओके सो द थ्री रूट टू और Uh, the value is 4.24 meter. Okay, beta. So displacement will come out to be as 4.24 meter. Okay. Okay. So with this, let's understand some differences between distance and displacement. You know that the distance, distance is the actual path, and the displacement is the shortest distance. And you know, displacement distance is always positive because we do not consider any direction in the case of distance and displacement. Can be positive, negative, and zero. I gave you an example in front of you. You remember the x-axis line, okay? In that case, it was positive, negative, as well as zero, okay? So next, uh, uh, is uh, distance always greater than or equal to the displacement? Okay, uh, you know that distance is always greater. Uh, I've given you many examples. You can see it. Okay, then the displacement is always less than or equal to the distance traveled. so displacement is always less than in most of the examples we have clearly seen that the displacement is was smaller than the distance and equal to the distance traveled uh, it is equal to the distance traveled uh, you, i told you an example of the ant in the example of the ant the both the values for distance and displacement were let's see see the distance traveled is 200 as well as the displacement is also 200 uh this is just meter okay so the displacement can be smaller or equal to the distance okay beta so these are the solutions for the pf example of the doctor and these are the uh, values these are answers you can check it out thank you very much and if you any queries regarding the concept of distance and displacement you can contact me thank you beta